Hello again, everyone. Today I am here with some Shown Design pens, specifically with the intention to show you my new Monarch nib, which I did end up getting. Uh, but I also wanted to show you some of the more unusual uh, pen adaptations, I guess you could call them, that I put on some of these, and just to show you some of the different options available from Shown Designs. So I'll go ahead and show you the pens. And then I will do a writing sample with a prop, well, maybe with a couple of these, but certainly with the Monarch nib. My Monarch nib uh, has been sitting in a pen with ink in it overnight. So I kind of wanted to uh, prime it, I suppose, like that. Uh, the instructions recommended filling it with a cart, uh, not a cartridge, a converter and then sucking the ink up through the nib to kind of prime the nib. So I did that, wrote a little bit with it afterwards, which worked pretty well, but I figured I would give it a little time to uh, marinate, so to speak. And this morning it did write a lot better. So let me go ahead and show you the pens and then I am going to be doing some writing samples in the uh, Cosmo Air Light notebook that's in, that's in here, which is a Chic Sparrow um, discontinued leather <laughs> notebook. All right, so these, so this is the pen that the Monarch nib came on, but I actually swapped it out of this because uh, this is a, I don't know, it's a metal, it's a black metal pen. I'm not quite sure what metal it is. It's very uh, light, so it, it whatever it is, it's light. <laughs> so I took it out of there and then put it in my original Ultem pen. And this is actually the first generation of the Ultem pen. So this has a slightly different design than the current model, but everything still works good and it fits. I got the, um, you might not be able to see it very well. I got the rainbow lettering um, and you can kind of see it a little bit better on the star there. It, it actually doesn't show up that well. It shows up better in the pictures on the website, but either way, it's fine. Um, and I'll tell you a little bit more about the Monarch nib. I'll give you a link to where this is on the Shown Designs website, but basically it is a nib that, uh, that the guy who runs Shown Designs developed that is essentially a wrap around nib. So you can see it's all one piece here. And then there is an Ultem feed, uh, which is the same material as the pen, which is kind of why I wanted to put it on here. So it would kind of be matchy matchy. And because of the uh, washer, are these washers are called something else. Anyway, I'm going to call them washers. <laughs> Let me know if there's something else. Uh, these little red washers, they're perfectly spaced. So this top one is the one that's on the nib. And these two are the ones that are already in the uh, feed or the, the grip section here. And so they line up perfectly. I actually saw that on his Instagram that um, that, that was intentional to make those spacings um, equidistant, I guess you could say. Uh, but it's, it's very cool aesthetically um, that I sort of have a nib that matches the pen with the feed and, you know, it's kind of designed to go in it. So that is the Ultem or uh, the old Tim pen with the Monarch nib in it, which I'm going to write with here in a minute. So like I said, the Monarch nib default is in this black metal pen. I decided not to upgrade the pen because I do have a few other models from, from Shown Designs and I didn't really, um, basically I just wanted the nib. <laughs> But, um, so I, and let me actually get these other two out so we can just talk about those at the same time. Let me zoom in a little bit. Um, so I already had this, which was a black Ultim pen. So this is just metal, but the design is the same as far as I can tell. It looks almost identical. Um, so this is Ultim and then this is metal. So I figured since they were slightly different, it was all right to just get the plain black pen. So when I took the uh, Monarch nib out of here, I actually put um, one of the adapt adaptations that I have uh, on here. So onto this black pen. So this is actually a felt tip pen adapter that is in Ultem. Um, this is also available on their website. Uh, I think this particular one can, can house a... Um, ballpoint in addition, I think. 
it was, it's been a while since I purchased this, so, uh, and I really just wanted the felt tip, but I'll write with this for you so you can see. And I, and again, I cannot remember which insert or, um, what are those things called? Anyway, I can't remember what tip this is. I bought it directly from Shown Design so that I knew it would fit. Um, maybe I can take it apart and see. Uh, oh, I just noticed that this actually does have a different logo. So each of the, I don't think this one has anything because this is the original, this is the original Ultim pen that was just Ultim. <laughs> and then, so the black one I think also has nothing. So that's just plain black Ultem. However, this is the um, the Peak. It's called, the plastic is called Peak. Um, this bottle does have a little ghost here. So it's kind of like a pun, peek a -boo, which I thought was kind of cute. It was released around Halloween, um, which was, I think it was a couple years ago now. And I bought it shortly after that. And then it does have the Shown Design logo there and then this one does have the shown design logo as well and also has this little star on the other side so the I mean the basic pen is the same but those little additions are kind of cute and like almost like a little discovery because I actually didn't notice that little star there so like I said so I put the felt tip on here um these two uh so I did, I did do a little bit of shuffling of nibs. So that got the felt tip, which I think was actually on this one, but then I swapped out the nib that was on the Ultim pen, which was a, a size eight nib and um, put it here. So this is a size eight, 14 karat gold nib. One of the reasons why I wanted to get these pens is because of its flexibility to put a size eight nib on with an added little, um, grip section converter, which are all sold on the website. I'm not gonna be testing this one today. Um, I do have prior videos where I've covered this size eight nib. Uh, I also have no ink in here, so <laughs> I wouldn't be able to even if I wanted to. So this one is the other size eight nib that I have, and this is a titanium size eight. And I think there are little grip section adapt adapters for size eight nibs in all of the different materials. I'm not sure if it comes in peak, I'm not sure. Um, I didn't really look for it either, so I'm not sure. But I know it definitely comes in Ultem and the black Ultem. But this one, I think I have ink in. I can go ahead and test that one for you. And the titanium size eight nib I purchased from fpnibs.com and I added a little teardrop uh, breather hole on there. And then these two, which I'm also not going to test today. I think I will test this one because um, this one has a little fun, uh, I was going to say nib, but it's it's basically been converted into a ballpoint pen. So these I'll just show you real quickly. These are sort of the basic Pocket 6 model. I um, got a brass section for it. Ooh, and it looks like there's a little bit of ink leak. Uh, and then I just have a regular size 6 nib on here. This is actually a really great little pen. The only thing I don't like about these, these two pocket pens is that um, you essentially have to use a cartridge and I'm not a big cartridge user. I know you can replace the ink in a cartridge and fill it out, fill it up uh, with whatever ink you want. I just don't like how it flows from a cartridge. So that's not my, my preferred method. Um, and this one is just one of the newer models with this fun swirly design on it. Um, and again, there's ink in here, but for some reason I tried to get this to uh, write before I came on camera here and I wasn't able to get it to write. Either it's, you know, been in there too long <laughs> and needs to be cleaned or, or something like that, but I won't test those. So I just wanted to kind of show you some of the different models that are available from Shown Designs. And there are a lot of different, I mean, most of it's aesthetic, not necessarily a difference in how they write. So that's something to keep in mind as well. Okay, so I'm gonna bring these back out. And I'm really only gonna test out the size eight nib because I know it works and it's here. <laughs> and I'm only really using this Cosmo Air Light Paper because it's what I had handy uh, 
I hear through the grapevine that Cosmo Air light paper is being discontinued. So <laughs> the, um, the saga of the fountain pen friendly paper continues. <laughs> I don't know what's going on there with all the different changes in the world of paper. Uh, I haven't purchased any paper in quite some time because I haven't been using my fountain pens as much. Um, only because I have tons of other things going on, but, um, but yeah, so Cosmo Air Light is going to be discontinued as far as I know. So don't necessarily use this as a guide for which paper to buy. Okay, so we'll try, oh, sorry, that was the black Ultem. So we'll try this one really quickly just so that I can show you. Um, and this just has a converter inside. You could drop or fill any of these. Um, I t oh, any of the larger size, but Ultim, I mean, but I prefer not to do that on pens that I can't see the inside because I kind of like to gauge what the fill it level is. So, um, for the black and the peak, I, I wouldn't, I probably would not drop or fill them. So, this is the Shun Designs. Um, Black Ultim with number eight titanium. What was that? Enough. <laughs> My writing has been terrible lately. Uh, titanium. Um, can't remember what size nib this is. This might, this might be a broad cursive italic. Um... I'm going to say that because I, I'd have to go back and look through my order because I can't remember. I've been having issues since COVID, you guys. Um, for those of you that have seen some of my prior videos more recently, you may have seen me mention that I had COVID for a while. And I just like I'm completely, I had been completely uninterested in making any videos for the longest time. And um, my memory is, I'm having issues with my memory and... Uh, just various things like, you know, messing up my writing. Those things are more common than they were before. I don't know if there's a link or not, but um, I'm certainly still coughing in the morning and it's been, you know, running almost two months now. So I don't know what's going on, but I digress. Let's go ahead and go on with this next one, which is the felt tip. Um, and one of the things when I was writing this with, with this the other day, I noticed that I could press on this, which was kind of weird. I guess that's sort of like to pump the ink into the, into the felt tip. Um, again, let's see, let's see if I can find which refill this is for the felt tip. Um, yeah, so this is a Schmidt Fine Liner 6040 in a medium. That's what kind of felt tip this is. The only downside to this felt tip is that it is not, um, it is not, the ink is not waterproof. So that's been sitting there for a second on the page. If I wet my finger and then run it across, you can see it's not, um, it's not waterproof. It's a little bit water resistant depending on which, um, paper you use, but on here, certainly not. So this is the, let's say, black metal pen. Full size. Uh, with felt tip adapter. Okay. So there's that, and that's pretty cool. So I am going to go ahead, I'm going to save the Monarch nib for last. I know that's probably not a popular choice, but I do want to show you this one here, which, um, so this is the Ultim pocket pen, and I did drop or fill this, uh, again, because I can see the ink level. Um, and I can't remember what ink, which ink this is. This one I think is a Kala ink, uh, and this one I think is a Sailor ink, but I don't remember the exact colors. Uh, but I wanted to try the ballpoint adapter because I thought, well, how could this work? I mean, seriously, look at that. Old hem pocket with ballpoint adapter. Um, 
and then this is dropper filled. So that's fountain pen ink, guys. I mean, that's pretty cool. There's no issues with um, flow, uh, no stopping and starting. I've been really impressed with this one, so I'm kind of leaving this as is for now. Um, I got the Monteverde ballpoint that used fountain pen ink, and I, now I've forgotten the name of the model, but because it's retractable, there's basically no protection for the ballpoint nib. It seemed like a really dumb design to me, quite frankly, after I got it, I was like, oh, because for some reason I thought there was like a little flap or something that would seal the uh, ballpoint once it's retracted, but it doesn't. It's just open to the air and all it did was dry out. Like I used it once and it dried out and I couldn't use it again. So <laughs> I could not get it to flow ever again. Um, so I was a little frustrated at that, which is why I was so happy. I mean, this has been sitting I did not use this pen for months and left it sitting like this and this cap is pretty airtight so when I opened it up this is how it wrote and this is how it wrote when I first filled it so highly recommend that just kind of tour the website if you're looking for these kinds of things and then you can see um, all those di different adaptations so here we are at 1625 <laughs> <laughs> and here is the Monarch nib. So this, I believe the ink I have in here is Sailor 280 because it had a nice, um, nice coordinating color with the pen itself. So let's go ahead and, so this is the Alton pen with the Monarch nib. So I must say, I mean, it's a little anticlimactic that that's, that's, that's it folks. <laughs> but, um, so there it is up and down, there it is side to side. And supposedly, yeah, you can see there's a little bit of variation depending on how you hold it. Um, it actually is a fairly decent reverse writer, um, fairly fine on the reverse. I haven't been able to get too much variation out of it because it seems like no matter where I write with it, it's pretty consistent <laughs> as far as the line width. But um, there is a lot of tipping material here. So I'm wondering if at some point I do want to get a grind on this, but supposedly, so it's titanium, I believe. Uh, but even though it's titanium, it's not flexible. It's It's actually pretty hard. I mean, I would say it's it's more of like a hard glass feeling when writing. It's certainly not scratchy. It's it's pretty smooth. Um, it actually writes pretty well on this um, paper. But yeah, I I really like it. the The only thing is it was pretty expensive, which you'll know when you see it uh, on the website. But you know, at the end of the day, it's still. Uh, a fountain pen nib. <laughs> I mean, I think the design is really cool. And I think it is kind of an innovative, innovative design in the wraparound nib. And it's kind of like a single nib unit that's uh, self-contained here. And um, one of the instructions was if you're going to clean it, don't remove the feed because you could totally mess it up. <laughs> and it did come with a little, um, syringe that is that was modified to fit on the end of the nib on this end of the nib um, to flush it out when you clean it so I was appreciative of that because I definitely like to keep my nibs in good working order not always very good at it but I do want to do it um, so yeah so like I said <laughs> at the end of the day it's a nib it's a really nice writing nib um, I, I've just gotten to the point where I'm kind of into like different types of nibs, not just Joe nib. Um, this is not Joe nib by, by any means, but, uh, as far as its writing quality, I mean, I suppose you can get some variation, but it's very subtle. I mean, you can see those are different angles. The, the most variation is writing in reverse compared to writing the other way. Um, and it is kind of nice when a pen writes in reverse fairly, or a nib writes in reverse fairly well. Um, Cause then it gives you 
you know, a whole other option. So I'm going to kind of think on it on whether I want to have this ground down into some sort of um, custom grind. I Once I get nibs, I'm really hesitant to send, or, or nibs or pens with, with nibs <laughs> attached to them, I'm really kind of hesitant to send out the nibs to be modified because I'm kind of afraid of the U.S. mail. Um, they don't have the best track record for not losing things. Um, like case in point, uh, my husband ordered some vanilla beans, like super special vanilla beans from a certain place on the globe that has really good vanilla beans. Uh, it was a United States distributor, you know, where it was kind of like a co-op thing. You get to have a huge batch of vanilla beans and then they separate them out. They, they went out and they never arrived. Um, they did end up replacing them and we got the replacements. But uh, my husband still gets emails about, we're still looking for your vanilla. And this was like six months ago. <laughs> and it's like, dude, just reimburse the person who sent the vanilla at this point. Like you're not gonna find it. But um, <laughs> but anyway, I don't wanna end up in that scenario. I don't wanna end up in the vanilla scenario <laughs> with my fountain pens. So I'm very hesitant to send them out. And I suppose I could send them out FedEx or UPS or something like that. But in any case, it just seems like a lot of a hassle to send it out, wait for it to be done, get it back in. And that, you know, there's two different ways where it could get lost. But anyway, that all is to say that usually when I'm getting custom nibs, I'm just buying them, you know, with, with the nib. And then I put them on a pen. I have to say that this this pen or this nib has a really nice writing experience. So it's very well tuned. Um, apparently if anything ever goes wrong with it, I can send it back to Shown Designs uh, to fix it. I don't think that will be for free, but you know, I mean, it seems pretty sturdy. If something goes wrong with it, it's probably me that did it. So, um, but it's nice to know that I can get it repaired if I need to. It's very smooth, no skips, um, no problems with ink flow. I mean, you could write pretty fast, wouldn't be a problem. So this nib, I think, is a winner uh, for you know what it is. Um, and it's kind of an innovative design, and I, I do like supporting that sort of thing. And the guy who runs this company is super nice, so I do also like to support people who are nice, who run businesses. <laughs> Um, but that's that's it. That's the Monarch nib and some of the other um, sort of unusual um, things that you can do with the Shown Design pens, like put a ballpoint pen on there, put a felt tip pen on there, put a size 8 nib on there. Um, those are all things that you can get adapters for on their website. Um, and then this is just a selection of different, different pens. And these, I, and you can see, so this is the, all, the new Ultem pen looks just like this in Ultem, but you can see there's some minor differences between this new, uh, this older model and the newer one. It's a little bit longer at the end, just a tiny bit. Um, and the grip section has a little bit of, uh, of a difference in the, um, threading. Even, even so, the adapters still fit, but I ended up putting the original one back on to put the Monarch nib in here. So um, I don't think this original model is ever going to be made again. I think it's all going to be the new, the new design. But as far as I know, these three full-size pens are all available on the Shown Designs website, and I'll put a link down below to that. They have all kinds of stuff there. Have fun <laughs> checking that out. But I just wanted to show that to you today. And it was one of the things that was kind of on my wish list. And um, I think I think I actually purchased this after I recovered from COVID, like as a gift to myself. <laughs> I keep buying gifts for myself associated with this dumb pandemic. Um, so there you go. Um, so now I'm just gonna try and not get COVID again. Anyway, that's all I'm going to say about COVID because the last time I mentioned some stuff about it, it seemed controversial. So, uh, and I don't like controversy on my channel. This is just art, fountain pens, etc. But, you know, we do all live in the world and that's the way it is. But anyway, 
that's all I had for you today. Feel free to subscribe to keep track of future videos on my channel. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. I hope to see you next time, but in the meantime, have a great day. Thanks so much. Bye.